the last bit of comic book news slash review news that we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be covering Cow- uh, Cowboys vs. Kaiju's uh, Cowboys. Yeah, Kaijus and Cowboys. Uh, issue number zero. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is uh, we want to review the series before issue one comes out. And it is still on a Zoop, which is like a comic book version of Kickstarter. And that's going to be ending on August 17th. So you so guys have till then to go over there and support the uh, the next issue that's coming out. I mean... I mean, it's uh, it's grind time now, guys. I mean, we're more than halfway there on the funding. Um, yeah, yeah. Only got I, it's like less than seven hundred. Uh, yeah, and he's like seven hundred bucks. They have some pretty good reward tiers, including yeah, like, I, uh, and it, it's pretty cheap too. Digital yes, comics is five for, bucks. The physical copy is seven bucks, yeah. and then you can get a blank cover for the same price, seven bucks. Um, so really affordable. I'm actually yeah, surprised at how cheap like, it is. All the little extras too, the stickers, patches, um, trading cards. Yeah. Um, Frankie B. Washington is the artist on the series. Um, if you follow him on Twitter, um, Facebook, or anything, you know his big thing is sketch cards. He loves doing his sketch cards. Um, he does great art. Uh, I love following him. Uh, I, I, that's If you follow me on Twitter, you see me constantly retweeting artists I, I just love all the monster art that's out there and frankie b's one of the great artists out there yeah he, he, uh, him and uh, matthew blair is the matt blair are is the writer of the series um it's we we've discussed it before but um it's red man-ish so yeah very very the, red man-ish the story is earth gets conquered and they set out like an arc type ship into space, a bunch of humans in there and cryo freeze. But on board the ship is an army of robots. So half the army is laborers, or well, probably more than half the army is laborers. And then we also have our hunter bots. And now the main character in this series goes by the name Bot with no name. Yeah. <laughs> um, and. Uh, you know, he's, it's cool. It's like, he's really cool. His, his main job is just to hunt down kaiju. So so this arc finally found a planet that's inhabitable for the humans, that they could build a new civilization. So though the construction bots are out there, they're building cities, towns, humans are not there yet. They're still in cryo-free sleeping on the ship. Yeah, so they, they, they're they, going to be, they're going to wake up when it's a completely perfect ready to go planet they don't have to do anything build anything everything's all set up for them with these Life robots just goes on. they went to sleep from a nightmare and they wake up in a new paradise yeah but while it's going on they got to build the cities they got to build the housing they got to build restaurants stores etc and um about with no name his job is just to make sure that there's no kaiju around because the planet is covered in them. Yeah. And he's, he's got some really cool abilities. Re- I mean, this, yeah, really yeah. great abilities. Uh, if you guys see right above my head, that is the like patch design of Bot with No Name. It's like a cowboy looking. He's got dreadlocks, but like they like his dreadlocks are like PC connectors so he can. Oh, sorry, hit the mic there. They're, like PC connectors so he can like jack into like another robot's like memory bank and stuff like yep. that. Yeah. Which we see right off the bat, he finds yeah. like a destroyed robot, picks up his head, and looks at the recordings. We're like, all right, this is the kaiju that attacked it. So he goes on the hunt. Uh, he encounters like a pack of like smaller. Like T Rexes. Ka- yeah, like I don't know what the uh, T Rex, Velociraptor things. And he shoots out like these nanobots that he uses to mind control them. So he has these guys with them. And then the big boy that killed the other bot, he shows up, and he the bot with no name uses his pack to try to fight him, but they stand zero chance. This kaiju is way beyond his level, and um, like his little AI or whatever system in his head is like, listen, chance of survival is not looking that good. So like he's fighting this thing. He's got like a grappling arm. He's got wrist rockets that he's shooting at. Um, so it activates like a bio weapon. Yeah. And it like causes a big explosion. He loses his head. And um, it's sort of like almost like a kamikaze type. He kind of like killed himself, but he did it. 
Because yeah. meanwhile, we see at the beginning, he leaves out of a futuristic looking wagon that's pulled by a giant kaiju called the Steed. The Steed. Horned monster, four legs, pretty cool. But this 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 wagon, it's like a it's like his lab. So like a little drone comes out, picks up his body, brings it back to the cart, and then just rebuilds the dude. So this guy can't really die. Yeah, no. He can uh, you know, it's very red manish. Like basically we covered the whole story. I think it's only like maybe like a twenty five page um comic book, but it's a lot of action. So there's a lot of panels with no text. Yeah. And this, um, we yeah. get the story beforehand. Yes. Um, but like some really cool art. Like I got the digital. You have the physical version, but I yes. bought the digital version uh, when I backed it originally on Kickstarter. And like it, it looks really good. Like this is like some like the art. Like super awesome looking. Uh, yeah. And then like the fight scenes and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, they're awesome. Just want to, I don't want to show off too much stuff because obviously this is somebody's work, but uh, just to show you guys like what like it's an awesome like little comic book series. Yeah, so, I mean this it's the 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 robot doesn't talk all all the dialogue that you see is sort of it's like onboard systems kind of yeah via, like activating this mode doing this it's 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 purely art it's it's great yeah it's, there's a story to it. But it's it's a lot of art. Yeah, and it looks like in issue one, they're going to be introducing what looks like I don't know if it's going to be like a uh, an assistant or like it's almost oh, yeah. like a butler looking guy. He's got like a bowler hat. Yeah, on. he looks like he, yeah, he looks like a bartender, like a saloon butler. Yes, yes, that's yes. exactly. So I, mean, I think the it, really it, interested. He is at a saloon, so yeah. Yeah, I'm really interested to see where this goes because the Alma Zoop they do have some. Basically, I think the art is done. For this yeah, first it's issue, re it's ready to go. So, yeah, so I've been looking at some of it. It's really good, you yeah. know. So I'm, I'm kind of really want to see where this story is going. Yeah, I mean, they they really worked hard on this yeah. comic. So they're they're estimating a twelve. They want to do a twelve issue arc for this. So yeah. it's going to be pretty big. No, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, well, we're gonna have the link for this one down below. Um, yeah, uh, go we don't on, have go a. On this. Yeah, we don't have any links to issue zero, but we definitely have a link to the Zoop, and uh, you guys will be able to support there and kind of see the majority of um, the stuff that they have over there. And like we mentioned, there's tons of like little add-ons you can do, which which I, which is what I like about this Zoop platform is that you know sometimes with the Kickstarter, it's like all right, you got to pick a reward tier, but you can't get everything. Like if you want this, you got to go with this bundle. But then you also get all this other stuff that you don't want yeah. or don't need. Yeah, this one's kind so of like a la carte. Here you could handpick a la carte. You get multiple issues. You could get, um, like you said, if you want stickers, you could have the stickers. You don't need to get the stickers. If you want cards, you have the card, individual cards, patches. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Frankie is a, a big um, sketch card guy. One of the reward tiers is you could have him do a single character sketch card for you yeah yeah um, and it's pretty pretty well priced I think that's yeah. like 60 bucks yeah. he does have some of the original art from the comic book those, and those are a little bit more expensive but it's really good art no um yeah. and then like yeah they have like the pat like the sticker pack the patch pack uh trading cards you can add on and um yeah i mean just like a pretty decent little series going on over here and uh, absolutely even, you guys gotta check it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, uh, indie comics is where it's at right now. I mean, we gotta embrace all the new kaiju content that we can get while we're getting it. I mean, like I said years ago, we would be clamoring for this stuff. Yeah. But now it's getting. We're seeing indie guys do it so much for us now. So yeah, gotta be happy with what we're getting right now, and I love it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's basically it as far as kaiju's and cowboys.